what's up and welcome back to my channel oh my god who am i right now <laughs> my hair is straight i haven't straightened my hair in actually like so long speaking of so long look how long my hair is getting today i just wanted to have like a cozy sit down chit chatty kind of type video so it's been a hot minute since i have done a what's on my iphone video and since i last like the last time i did this was right when after i got my iphone 6s and there wasn't a ton on it yet I've had it for like two years now and there is a buttload of stuff on my iPhone right now. And I don't know if people like still make these kind of videos, but I really wanted to make one because I just thought it'd be fun to sit down and chat about iPhone apps and such because there's always so many cool apps floating around and like you can see people using them in their like Insta stories and stuff. But you're like, what the heck is that called? And that's, these videos are how you find that out. So. I have my trusty dusty iPhone 6s in a really gnarly case that has super glue stains. It's like peeling apart. It's really bougie, as you can tell. Um, no, it's really not. As soon as I found out that like the new app let you just like screen record right from like literally a button on your phone, I was like, yes, I've always wanted to do a screen recording version of what's on my iPhone. So. Let's start at the beginning. Oh no, my nose is running. This happens every time I start to film, my nose starts running. So yeah, we obviously have, we have the first page of stuff, which is just like self-explanatory, you know, it just like comes with the phone. Why is my flashlight? Um, well, the self-explanatory stuff, it's just all stuff that like is on your phone when you first get it. I never change that. I just always leave it the way it is. So we'll just swipe. And okay, so then we have like, um, obviously like FaceTime podcast and the watch app and then in my extras folder I just have like all this other stuff. Um, I'm with Bell so I have my Bell app and then I have my banking app as well and that's all that's in that one. The second line, stuff that's already there. Um, okay the third line I have Keynote and GarageBand. Those are already in there but then I have my Shoppers app. Oh wait. Actually since it's February now this isn't going to work. Um, I should actually delete that because Shoppers and Superstore are actually combining their programs, their card programs. So I have to delete that app because it's not going to work anymore. And then we have my photography folder where I have the app Afterlight. I have the SEO Cam, 1967, Lightroom, Live Collage, and Preview. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what Afterlight and the SEO Cam is. Afterlight is obviously just like a... Um, photo editing like thing um, and then the SEO cam I'll just let you guys in on what my favorite filter is oh I have a Polaroid Instagram as well by the way in case you guys wanted to know these are some of the ones that are going to be coming up on my Polaroid Instagram it's at um, purple hair on Polaroids if you want to check that out Q3 and obviously the pictures upside down but bam, that's just what it looks like. 1967, I think this was like my other what's on my iPhone videos as well. I think it's just like, I haven't used it in a long time, but it has like more like vintage-y type filters, which is really cool because I really like enjoy the vintage-y type photo look. Lightroom, um, Photoshop and Lightroom kind of go hand in hand. They're just like photo editing stuff that's a little bit more intense. Live collage, um, you know, you just put, put the pictures together. Preview, I really like preview because I can plan out my Instagram feed before I post it and I think you can I've, I've never actually done it before but I think you can actually like schedule posts with this as well um, but yeah that's this is what I use to plan out my Instagram feed the last two rows I've kind of been pushing up my feet a little bit let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see an in in-depth how I edit my Instagram photos because I'd be super down to do that I have a health folder um, I have the blog Lottie's app Everybody should know Blogilates if you're watching YouTube. She's one of my favorite workout people on YouTube. Um, I have seven minute workout. It's basically like, if you do watch Blogilates, it's basically like a hit, like high intensity interval training um, type of workout that's only seven minutes long. And then I have Asana Rebel, which is a yoga app. There's all kinds of different yoga stuff on there. And then I have Polomatic. Why wouldn't I have a Polaroid app on my phone? Yeah, basically this is just like an app where you can like turn, you know, any, photo into like a Polaroid-esque looking type thing. And then I have my socials, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, um, Tumblr, which I haven't been on in a long time, Vine camera, I don't even remember the last time I opened that, Instagram, Messenger, Skype, and Musical.ly. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys actually use Musical.ly because like I used it for like a little bit last, like not even this past summer, like two summers ago, but then I haven't used it like since. So 
Let me know if you guys want me to start using that or if you guys use it. And then obviously I have my YouTube app because YouTube. And then I have my YouTube creator studio app. Basically like you can track your revenue, you can track your audience retention, like you can upload thumbnails, you can like basically anything like any analytics or anything like that or anything like you want to change about your channel and you want to do it on your phone YouTube Creator Studio app that's what you want that's what you use that for and then I have Pinterest um, 8 tracks I haven't been on in a long time but I really like it because it's like basically if there's a bunch of these playlists and you don't even see what's on the playlist before you hit play but it's just like a free app at least it was free when I downloaded it. I don't know if it's free anymore but um, you just like download it um, and you search up like different playlists like I always use it around Christmas time but you search up different playlists how many times have I just said you search up different playlists I don't even know anyways you just search up different you search up different playlists and you get music for free I, that's the only way I can explain it oh yeah they do have advertisements um, but yeah I always like look up like Christmas ones. Sometimes they're a little bit weird because this playlist says Taylor Swift, but there's another song in it. Anyway, it's kind of like just like a mishmash of different music, but it's free if you want to listen to different music. And then I have Famebit. It's basically just like a good um, app for like influencers that want to build their brand, work with other brands, um, get brand deals, that kind of situation. And I have Booking.com because I use that to book hotels sometimes. And I have my Money Saver app. This is my favorite one. I actually made a whole video on these apps, I think, before. But Flip is basically an app where it'll show you like, basically Flip is like an app where you can find flyers from your area. There's also coupons and rebates that you can use. You can create a shopping list. I haven't done that in a while. Um, but there's all kinds of different like, you can save money with this app and it's all digital, no paper, nothing. So wait, that's nice. Ebates. Gorilla love me some Ebates. I'm sure you guys have all heard of Ebates. And if you want to help me out, I'll leave my referral link down in the description box below because I think like when you refer people and they actually use it, you get $5, I get $5. It's all around a good situation. But um, basically whenever I shop online, I use Ebates. I've shown this to like so many people and it works. It's like legit. And you basically just like, you before you shop online, you go to Ebates first, you find the website on Ebates and you click on it and Ebates takes you to the website that you want to be on. And that's pretty much it. You just shop and you get cash back, which is, you know, free money basically, because if you're gonna buy stuff anyway, you might as well. Checkout 51, I think is a Canadian app. But I'm not sure. But anyway, basically it's another rebate app. So if you buy groceries, um, you can just check up on like the, the Checkup 51 app. My camera stopped recording and I don't know when it stopped recording. So yeah, Groupon, if I if it cut off before I really said anything much about it, it's basically just like you can get sales from different stores and stuff. Um, and then I have the Influencer. You guys should check this out. I'm telling you, you can get free stuff for literally no reason. Basically like you have like little surveys that you can do. You answer the surveys which will, um, it's not like surveys for money, like opinion note posts, that kind of thing. It's like, they say like you have some snaps to take and basically they'll just ask you questions about different products. Um, and like those, like your, your answers to those questions will give you like, will give them a better idea of what products they think that you will like. Um, and then like you can, They'll send you emails and they'll be like, okay, you qualify to test this product out. And one time I got a mascara. Um, last time I got like some packets of like seasoning mix. And the next time I have one on the way, I think it has like Cliff Bars and like David's Tea in it and stuff. Like some boxes only have one thing, but some boxes have like multiple things. And basically all you have to do is once you get the box, you try the stuff out, you post it on your Instagram, you leave a review. There's like different tasks that it'll ask you to leave. Like it's really cool and it's really easy to get like a free stuff because who doesn't like trying free stuff? Cause I love trying free stuff. Anything with the word free involved, count me in. Um, and then I have my Bitmoji. The only thing I got that was, the only reason why I got that was because I wanted a Bitmoji on Snapchat. Speaking of Snapchat, <laughs> why is it so annoying right now? Why can't I not figure it out? Did I already go through my social medias? I think I did. Anyway, um, this is my games folder. I'm literally not going to go through all these because that would just take forever. I have Mr. Square episode, which is fun. Trivia crack. Um, I have like a yup yup game from my niece. Uh, face swap whisper. Why do I keep yawning? 
Donut Dazzle, which is Laura DIY's app. And then I have Bejeweled Blitz. I have Metronome app and a guitar tuner app because musician life. And then I have Uber. Uber is not like around where I live, but when I go to Toronto or like the States, they have Ubers and it's good to have the app. Cineplex app, just you know, to check on what times and dates movies are playing. Um, you now, everybody knows what you now is. I have the Kingdom Hearts app and the Pokemon Go app. I don't know why they're not in my games folder. They're just not. Um, and then I have Dropbox. Has anyone ever used Wish? It's like an online shopping thing, but like sometimes their stuff's kind of janky and like sometimes it's good and sometimes it never shows up. So it's kind of iffy, but like the prices are super cheap. And then I have the H&M shopping app. Apparently everyone's like boycotting H&M because of a photo. I don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to get into it. And then I have PicMonkey, which I should actually delete because PicMonkey used to be free and then it wasn't anymore. And then I stopped using it. I mean, I actually like the version of PicMonkey that I had, I actually was paying for, but then once it wasn't free, it cost it even more. And then I was like, okay, I won't renew it and I'll just use the free version. And then I was like, wait, you can't even use it anymore. So I was like, what the heck? So, I mean, I already had Lightroom and Photoshop anyway, which I can do the exact same things on. So I just decided to get rid of PicMonkey, cut that out of my life. And now I do all my thumbnails and all my like photo editing on Lightroom and Photoshop. And I have Fiverr. It's basically like an app where you can like get people to you can pay people to do things or you can get people to pay you to do things. Um, I have Run Sack Boy. It's basically like the little big planet, um, but like it's a mobile app. Uber Eats, again, no Uber here, but when I go to Toronto and the States, they have it. Pocket Booth is so much fun. I love this app. Basically, oh, hello there. You just like take some photos of yourself. and it pops out in like a little strip. But like, I mean like that part of it's not that cool. But the reason why I thought it was like really cool is because you can get like a party mode where like you could hook it up to a wireless printer and like your friends can like take pictures with this app um, on their phone and like it'll just print out like at your party. And I thought that'd be really cool for a party at some point. So I decided to, you know, just get that just in case I ever wanted it. So I have Netflix files, I have my remote for my TV, um, Spotify, I have Ola because P90, is that what it's, P90? Go 90, go 90, yeah, go 90 is not available here, so I had to use that. Wi-Fi booth is another similar boot, photo booth thing as pocket booth. Um, I have snake versus block, which is an addicting game. I have eight millimeter, I love this, I love this so freaking much. Um, Basically, this is how everybody gets their like, um, their cool like retro looking like Instagram stories. They use this app, it's called 8mm. It does cost like $2 or something, but super worth it. Like I really want to film a video like literally all on this. Look how cute it looks. Um, that's it. That's everything on my phone. Yeah, so basically that is everything that I have on my iPhone. Um, I hope you weren't too disgusted with how not aesthetically pleasing it is and how none of my stuff's in folders and my phone's just a mess, but I just kind of like it that way. It's just the way I like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys use any of these apps or if there's any apps that like you guys use that you think I should check out. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I do have a Facebook like page for music, so you can like that too, you know, if you're feeling like you want to stalk me a little bit. Don't forget to follow my vlog channel because I've been vlogging. If you guys want me to start doing post notification shoutouts, leave a comment down below if you have the bell turned on. And next time, maybe I will have a post notification shoutout to shout out. To shout out? Oh my god, what am I saying? Um, I'll have somebody to shout out for the post notification shout out. Yeah, I think that is the end of today's video. Um, I feel like it's kind of a long one. I don't know. I feel like talky videos, when I have talky videos, I just like ramble. Yeah, I think that's the end of today's video. And I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!